Hello everyone, this is Do a Dreamer. So, yes, yeah, Screwtech just revealed Ratchet and Clank's opponent for their next episode of Death Battle. And again, this is another no brainer because I kind of predicted it and many people have predicted this. And it's going to be Jack and Daxter. I really feel that <laughs> Screwtech should just reveal the, the fights rather than just reveal one of the opponents. But I get why they're doing this. It's to help with their numbers when it comes to the social media media like in Facebook and Twitter so people can try to you know follow them and like their page and whatnot so I get why they're doing this but it was kind of a no-brainer that it was going to be Jack and Daxter for Ratchet and Clank's opponent in this death battle all right so like I mentioned before in my review of Bowser versus Ganon I don't know these characters very well I know them as much as pretty much watching trailers i never played the video games at all mainly because it just didn't appeal to me and it kind of reminded me in a way uh like a crash bandicoot or a spyro game and whatnot so i was like not too interested i've seen other people play it but it still didn't appeal to me so I honestly don't know these characters very well. So what I did was did some research on my own. I went through a couple of Wikia websites and also official websites on Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank. And even watching an episode from Cartoon Fight Club by Animation Rewind, they actually did a battle between Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter. And it's very insightful, especially with his research and his breakdown and whatnot. So I went by that and also other sources that I got. But anyway, uh, let's get down to my prediction on this. So I'm going to start with Ratchet and Clank. I can say that with Ratchet and Clank, they have the advantage in terms of intelligence, weapons, and equipment because they have like a buttload of weapons firearms and even armor so technically that gives them the advantage and also from what i also heard daxter is a loyal companion to jack but he tends to be very lazy and sometimes does not involve himself in the fight with jack so i would definitely have to say that ratchet and clank has the advantage in terms of teamwork because they seem to work as a cohesive unit the downfall uh, the drawback for Ratchet and Clank would have to be their limited supply of ammo and equipment. And what I mean, they have a lot of equipment. They have a lot of weapons. Don't get me wrong. But with the guns, you need ammo. And they're not, there's not an unlimited supply of ammo. So he can run out. And without his armor, he's pretty much naked you know and when i say naked i mean he can be harmed very easily so that is a, a very disadvantage towards ratchet and clank in a way but anyway let's get right to jack and daxter like i mentioned before daxter is a very loyal companion but can be very lazy and that could be a disadvantage for Jack as well. And also Jack has somewhat of an ego in a way. Like if, if fight doesn't interest him, he doesn't want to participate. And he's also, if I want to hurt, a sore loser when it comes to competition. So ego is pretty much a disadvantage. But his big advantage would be his raw power, would be his durability. Because even in his base form, he has strong durability. And with the use of eco, uh, which is pretty much like an environmental source that that his people use for power, and there are like th six different colors, in which that like, each color can also change his own weapons into different things. Like you have the red eco, you have the blue eco, yellow eco, green eco, even light and dark eco. So those are things he actually relies on. I know that's also a limited supply as well. And he has two forms also. Like if he uses the light eco, he turns into light jack where he has the ability to heal himself. He has regenerative powers. And he also has the ability to fly and also very destructive capability in terms of raw power and also of course you have the dark jack where his durability is raised to the max his strength is multiplied almost tenfold so with that being said even without his friend daxter 
I think that he can actually solo this battle against Ratchet and Clank without them. And granted, yes, when it comes to intelligence, Ratchet and Clank has the advantage and they have weapons, you know, buttload of weapons. But Jack has experience in facing hordes and hordes of enemies by himself with minimal difficulty. And Ratchet and Clank is sort of like a two-man army, so... I don't know. I I really feel that Jack has the odds in favor in winning this battle, but I could be wrong. I'm looking forward to seeing this fight, even though I don't know these characters very well. It'll just be very intriguing to see. I do know, like I mentioned about that, I watched the cartoon Fight Clubs. One thing I do know is that the animation for Death Battle is going to be so much better than that one. Uh, I think it will be somewhat on par in terms of the breakdown, but the animation, the simulation of it is going to be so much better. And one more prediction I'm going to make, and it's going to be a bold prediction. If Daxter tends to run away, I feel that they're going to lead up to a DBX episode with Clank versus Daxter just those two alone. So I have a feeling that they're actually leading up to that as well. I could be wrong. So it may end up to be Ratchet versus Jack rather than just a team battle. But I really feel that they're going to lead up to a DBX battle for this death battle. But I could be wrong. But like I said, it's just my prediction. But anyway, guys, uh, what do you guys think for this battle? And who do you think is going to win in this team battle? Jack and Daxter or Ratchet and Clank? Feel free to leave your thoughts and comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. And we've got to discuss and debate about it. All right, guys, this is Do a Dreamer. And always dream big.